Hey everyone, uh, this is my third little daily quip, semi-daily, on my new little AgTech dog walk. I got my pups as usual going down the road and uh, whether you could see quick or not, I'm surrounded by a bunch of corn and soybeans. Uh, this county that I live in is the number one soybean producing county in the country, uh, in Cass County, North Dakota. And as I stated earlier in my other video, giant ethanol plant behind me and new soybean crushing plant too. Uh, all the infrastructure around here is being built to do corn and soybeans and everything else. Uh, we have a lot of other crops in the state too, but it got me thinking uh, from the ag tech perspective is a lot of the shifts that we might see in the next decades you know, especially with people getting out of farming from retiring to unfortunately, you know, passing away, uh, giant land grab shifts. A lot of people are talking about that at ag and how that, you know, will affect things. And, you know, up here, what's kind of funny, well, it's not funny, I guess, but we're becoming, starting to become more of what we traditionally see in the Corn Belt. And I wonder with land prices, if that, we'll start to switch, you know, along with maybe climate, this and that, you can think what you want on it, but things are shifting. There's more and more of corn and soybeans going up north. We can grow 200 bushel corn with way cheaper land, you know, so far. Uh, will these shifts start to happen? And then, you know, what does that deal with around the tech side of where things shift on where people are gonna more pursue that? You know, there there is a poor adoption rate right now going on for different reasons. But adoption is actually increasing quite a bit faster in other parts of the world. And talking with many people over just the last year, especially it seems, uh, production is switching. Not only up north as I'm talking, but uh, from, for instance, in you know high value crops in California, uh, South America is grabbing a lot of production other areas of the world uh, we see that in different commodity crops uh, there is tons of land out there that can be farmed that's just not that can grow the same commodities we have here no matter what the value and with uh, you know increasing rules regulations whatnot you know carbon this CI scores this whatever you know other countries might not have to deal with that but we will and so are we gonna see once this land change happens over the next 20 years, a giant shift away from what we're used to and even where people use technology? Because, you know, in, in certain parts, it, it's harder to envision some of the, say the robotics side of it, just because of logistics and you know, safety issues even, and, and different thoughts on labor. Of course, there's other countries that can grow just the same things, as I said, but they have really cheap labor. They have a lot of people that don't have work. So will that actually, what will that do on from the whole side of the robotics if it's not really needed? And if other areas are also increasing in tech adoption because they need to understand the land better because I don't know, it was tilled up from nothing, brush or grass, and they need a better understanding right away. So they'll get used to tech abdo abdo adoption <laughs> easier. And while we kind of become the laggards as, you know, many just don't want to deal with it out of stubbornness, honestly, is, is some of it, or, you know, we're doing things the way grandpa did and it works. And while incremental progress happens, we're just not seeing it as much. And maybe, maybe we're spoiled a little bit in the States and, and you could say Western Canada too. And there's other parts of the world, Western Europe, uh, I could see a lot of that shifting here in the next 10, 20 years as, as land shifts and crop production shifts in other places where tech adoption will take off because the trends here is not great. Trends in other places better. So uh, maybe it's a question of how do you handle that and where do you go and do you, can you prepare for that? I don't know the answers. I'm just taking my dogs on a walk and thinking about technology and ag, and that's about it. So, 
some questions and thoughts to ponder for the day. We'll see you later.